Adderall and hypersexuality, Adderall and an increased sex drive, it can happen. So Adderall has two sides to it. Adderall can actually destroy your sex drive, but Adderall can actually increase your sex drive. And it all has to do with the dose amount that you take. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. So this is my experience with Adderall and how it's increased my sex drive. If you watch the video before this, it's how it decreased my sex drive. If I took too much, I became hyper-focused on everything else but sex. Sex was not important to me. Uh, I lost a lot of my libido. I lost a lot of my sex drive. But at the right dosage, Adderall massively increases your sex drive. And it's really weird how it works. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist, I'm none of that. My name's Eric, I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, MDD, level one autism. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict, lost a wife and a father to suicide. I share everything that I can so that nobody goes through life alone. One of the things that Adderall can do is Adderall can truly just increase your sex drive. Now, what I found is if I took too much Adderall, it killed my sex drive because my focus was anywhere else besides being intimate. It was always about being productive, about working on this project, and it was very hard for me to live in the moment. Well, with the right dose amount, it massively can increase your sex drive. So my dose is 10 milligrams in the morning between 7.30, 8 o'clock, and then another 10 milligrams between about 12.30, 1 o'clock. I take two doses a day, and it can massively increase your sex drive. And how it does is, at the right dose amount, you don't become hyper-focused. So one of the problems that I found when it killed my sex drive is I became hyper-focused on everything else but sex and whatever it was I was working on at the time. So if someone was trying to flirt with me or trying to make some moves or talking about, I mean, people had to be really blunt, let's have sex. A lot of times I didn't want to because I'm working on a project. I'm irritated now that I'm interrupted. Now in the middle of sex, I'm irritated that I'm there because I want to go be working on my project, my everything's not really working how it should. Now I'm even more frustrated and it would just really ruin everything because now the person you're with feels that you're not attractive, all of that. Well, that's when you're, you're hyper-focused at that right amount of Adderall. You're not hyper-focused. You're focusing just enough that your thoughts aren't all over the place. So when somebody starts to flirt with you, your focus can shift and zoom, like just zoom in on that conversation or zoom, you feel just a little bit more at place, a little bit more focused on what you're talking about. So when somebody's flirting with you, sexting's a big one. Like if somebody starts sexting with you, especially like with my girlfriend, when she starts sexting with me, my focus can kind of shift away from a couple of the different projects I do and onto this topic. And now all of a sudden it's fun. Now it's enjoyable. Now all of a sudden that desire to want to be with them is there. Now uh, it's almost like I become hyper-focused in a sense on them on wanting to please them and being excited about them. It's so much easier to turn on those ju like happy juices and sexual juices in my head because my thoughts, one, without Adderall, are all over the place and it's very hard for me to control my thoughts. It's just enough that I can just focus in on this conversation and get the rest of the crap out of the way when it comes to my thought processes. And I'm not hyper-focused where it's all of a sudden an interruption on a project that I'm doing that's probably pointless and not giving her the attention that she deserves. So you literally start to focus in and when you are in the act and in the middle of it, you are more focused in on your partner. And it's amazing because when you start really living that moment, you are, your, your heart rate's up, everything's up and you're not clouded with thoughts. So you don't get distracted very easily, which is something that's nice. If you are ADHD, you know that you can get distracted in the middle of sex. It's something that a lot of people don't talk about, but you can literally get distracted in sex because your thought process jumps so much that your thoughts now stay in the moment and in that intimate time with your partner. And that's unbelievable feeling. It's so much easier to get aroused. You get so much more excited. You feel the touch so much more and, you, and your brain and your thought process and your focus is on that touch and not on anything else. It's on the kissing and not on anything else. So finding that right dose amount really can increase your libido, it increases your sex drive. You, you notice how your partner's breathing. You notice the, the change in the body movement and you get into that moment. It's beautiful. And doctors do actually prescribe Adderall to some people because stimulants affect us all differently uh, that have a low sex drive or feel that their libido's off. Now, when it comes to it, though, it is all trial and error. And you got to remember that meds affect everybody a little bit differently. That's part of the problem is we always want there to be this magic cure-all pill. Well, there isn't. The closest thing that I have found, though, that helps me with my ADHD is Adderall. Adderall is a massive help for my ADHD. And just at that right dose amount, man, those moments are just, they're amazing. And I'm excited and I'm in that moment. And I just touching her and kissing her and giggling 
and just looking in each other's eyes, you're nowhere else. And that's one of the worst things is like, especially ADHD, your partner can feel that you're not there and you can be called out even sometimes on it. I know that she feels extremely loved by me. She knows that I am mentally fully there because my thoughts aren't all over the place. And it's funny because let's face it, there's times where you're hard, you're not, when you're, <laughs> your thought in, in your brain is in that moment and you, you're not squirreling. And I always called it squirreling where all of a sudden, you know, everything shifts off and this starts to weaken down a little bit because your brain and your thought process jump to something else. And now you're thinking about a car that drove by outside or a dog that's barking outside, or you heard the dishwasher stop and you got to go unload the dishwasher. I mean, there's all these different things that can distract us that with the right amount of Adderall, we're not distracted by any of that. And we're literally in that moment. It, it's, it's great. It's wonderful. And it makes it such a better connection. So if you are struggling and they do say, hey, that this is going to have possibly positive and negative side effects. Yeah, it can definitely have negative side effects. I've had the negative side effects side of it too, where taking too much of it, sex is a hassle. Intimacy is a hassle. It's interrupting. I'm aggravated. I need to work on this one project and this one project only. And that's where all my focus is shifted to. And that alone can be very, very damaging for a relationship. But at that right dosage, it can be very, very healthy for a relationship because you both are getting your needs and wants. And it's one of those that we don't talk a lot about bedroom, bedroom life, bedroom fun, whatever you want to call it, because there's such a stigma around it. We shouldn't talk about it. Well, BS. I, I really hate that thought process and mentality because if you are new to taking Adderall and it's not working and you don't understand why all of a sudden and you're frustrated and you're angry, you have to step back and realize what meds am I taking and how are these meds affecting me? Meds can affect positive and negative and always be open with your psychiatrist, your psychologist, whoever you're seeing at the time of how your relationship is. Be open with your partner how your relationship is. You know, if your sex drive is really up on high, let your, let your partner know, hey, this is the dose I'm taking of Adderall. I just felt like I'm in the moment. That communication is so healthy and we don't communicate enough. And when you are with your therapist, communicate a ton with your therapist if what you're taking is truly helping or if it's hindering. Because the one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to be trial and erroring through meds. Not let your partner know. Your partner begin to think that it's them, that you're not satisfied, that you're not happy anymore, that you want something else. That That's that's the worst because now all these different shutdowns and, and this relationship, the communication starts to break down. And it makes trial and error with meds so much harder because your life starts to fall apart around you and you don't realize why. Meds can help tremendously. I'm very pro meds. I'm all about it. You know, find the right med for you but also communicating with everyone in your life that the meds that you're on. So I'd love to hear your comments. Comment down below, hit that like and subscribe button because the more that we share, the more that nobody feels like they're going alone in life. And that's one of the worst things ever. And a lot of times we get very scared when it comes to new meds. You read all those side effects on the side of the bottle and you go, how is this gonna affect me? And the more that you hear other people's experiences, it makes you feel less alone and it also helps open up that conversation with your partner, with your psychiatrist, with your psychologist, with everybody that's involved in your life on how these meds affect you. So comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Hit that like and subscribe button. And just remember this, that you matter. No matter what it is that you're going through, you got this.